Hello everyone, Zach here. So, if you collect Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies using the faucet system, you often have a situation like this where you have tab, 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 tab open, and you have to have some kind of system in order to keep track of all of the links you need to click. Now, you can use spreadsheets or browser shortcuts, there's a lot of ways but I have a simple one for you if you use Linux. So imagine you simply click, run one simple script and it opens however many tabs you want, right? So that's what we're going to do. First thing we need to do is open up our terminal and we need to go to whichever file location that you want to uh, keep your scripts in. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. Um, I just have one right here that I call, uh, it's inside home, and I call it SC for scripts. Uh, right now I just have a couple of simple scripts in there. So what we need to do is open a editor. I'm just going to use nano. And I'm going to call this Bitcoin, actually let's just call this free Bitcoin.sh. The .sh is critical. Okay, so uh, whichever uh, editor that you've chosen um, works the same, no big deal. First thing we need to do is put in the shebang, which is the hashtag or pound sign, exclamation point, forward slash bin slash bash. <clears throat> Alright, so what we want to do is we want to run a simple script, it open all of the tabs for us, we can go through, collect our stuff, we can close it. Now you can set this up with 15 minute uh, web pages or faucets, you can set this up with 30 minute, one hour, once a day, you know, you can have several and when you see how easy it is, um, you may just do that. Okay, um, I'm using Google Chrome, so I will type in Google dash Chrome and now if you want to use Firefox, you can. Ah, there we go. Or if you're just running a Chromium browser, you can Chromium. You can do it there as well. Um, so Google Chrome. And all you're going to do is copy the website that you want to visit. And put that URL in right here. We'll go to the next one. Put, paste that. I'll go to the next one. There. And finally, I'm just going to do the four. Alright, so there they are. And nothing else is required, although I do like a confirmation to just let me know. And in Bash, um, if you're familiar with any programming language um, in Java it's console.log I mean in JavaScript console.log in other languages it's print Python it's print etc um, but here we're just going to do echo uh, single quote or double quote all good and then a matching single or double quote and that's all that you need we'll go ahead and hit control X yes and hit enter now if we do an LS we see that right here, as a matter of fact, I'm going to close this. Um, so we see that we have our free Bitcoin.sh. Now, in Linux, you have to give the script permissions to execute. It's a little different than if you're in Windows, but if you're using Linux or um, Mac, you need to give it permissions. And you do that by saying chmod and plus X, oops, plus X, and then the name of the script that you want to give it executable. That's what the X stands for. So we're saying add executable. And we want to say free Bitcoin.sh. Good. <clears throat> now, if we do another LS, we notice that it's green. And in most Linux distributions, it'll all be green or something similar to that. But ultimately, you can see that it was white, and now it's green. 
Now to run a Linux script, all you do is hit dot slash and the name, free Bitcoin. Fire it up, boom. There's our, all of our different uh, faucets that we want to collect with, and we're ready to go ahead and start to collect. Ooh, I can claim now, right? Oh, solve, etc. And submit, and woohoo! What did I get? Zero Satoshi. What did I get this time? Oh, I got 69. All right. So, as you can see, you can scale this however you want. Like I said, you can break it down by cryptocurrency, you can break it down by cryptocurrency by time frame. Um, your imagination is really the limit. So, I hope. Uh, you find this enjoyable and that it helps increase your uh, your cryptocurrency collection workflow if you like the video please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit to the bell icon down there that way you'll be notified of new videos uh, we'll have a lot of new content coming out over the next several weeks thanks again and happy coding